Okay, this is going to be a detailed look at antics. So this is going to be a long video looking at details that may be a little boring for you. But um, this is going to be a thorough look at what comes. The first thing is, um, from my last video, I had persistence. For example, we, I had downloaded Simple Screen Recorder, and it's still here, and I'm using it. So you see the persistence does work, which is nice. And that's, I'm on a flash drive. The next thing that we should look at here, um, <clears throat> so we have the persistence. Uh, if you look in the lower right corner here, you have the time and the day. If you click it, you'll get the calendar. Click OK to go down. Um, if I click the next box, it gives me a task manager, which has different programs. I wonder, yep, you can, you can kill the process from the task manager, which is nice. Tells you your CPU memory, more details. Um, hmm. Okay. So, and the CPU usage for the different tasks. So that's nice. Um, this would be Conman system tray. I'm on wired right now. C-O-N-N-M-A-N, -N -N. so that's for the internet. My sound's turned all the way up. Maybe because I'm getting older, I need more sound. Okay, so a lot of these, you click them and you get the command system tray. That red dot is from Simple Screen Recorder. It's nice that Antics comes with this stuff in the upper right hand, which includes the time and the date. Um, so the advantage of the one in the lower right is that you can get the calendar out of that. This also has your available RAM swap and uh, uh, looks like your disk. And it tells you uh, if the persistence is enabled. One issue I have with this is it does not come where you automatically have to give a password to get into the desktop by default. So I'll do a video on setting up a password login from your USB, a separate video, probably, Lord willing. Uh, you do come with two workspaces. The web browser is the next thing at the bottom here. Now if you click, right click on the screen and go, the web browser is on the list there. Um, I do not see, you see down here is the software installer. If I right click, where is the software installer when you right click? Okay, so this, uh, I feel like it, this should be an essential repetition of what's available down here, right? Plus maybe more. So I do not, let's see, app select. Let's see if software installer shows up. I see Synaptic Package Manager. If I click that, no, yeah. So I don't. I don't know. Um, we need a little bit more with the software installer. Okay, uh, Internet. Firefox ESR is listed there. Notice it has the Firefox symbol on it. See if I click that, it goes up to the Antics forum. If I click down here, same thing, 
Firefox goes to the Antics form. We will take a look at what Firefox comes with a little bit later in the video, and then we'll talk about browsers, Lord willing, in a separate video. But let's continue down here. Show desktop. I guess that hides things on the desktop. If you click the antics button, the very top is the terminal. In the last video we saw if you do control alt T, you can also get a uh, rocks terminal up there, R-O-X term. I don't know how it compares to the gnome terminal and the others. There's a, there's a lot of adjusting I have to do to this from things I'm familiar with from other systems. I guess I'm more familiar with the GNOME environment. File Manager, um, you'll notice it has Demo and Lost and Found. If you go to Demo, it gives you your standard desktop documents, downloads, music, pictures, videos. There is a live USB storage folder there. So I'm assuming I can put stuff in that folder and uh, it will stay in that folder with persistence. Tails has that. By the way, when I downloaded this ISO, I checked the SHA-256 sum. I'll show something about that in another video. Um, there are other security things that should probably be checked too. Um, when I did tails, my checksums, or whatever they're called, several times did not match when downloading tails. So highly suspicious. And I always had problems with persistence in tails, but you see it works very nicely. Like we saw just with this simple screen recorder that um, it had persistence here because this is a, re a reload. All right, um, let's see. So you saw the file manager, web browser. We did that on the bottom. I guess that's called the tray. Editor, let's click editor. All right, so G-Any is the editor. All right, I've got to click it several times to move it. Um, G-Any, that would be a text editor that comes with this. I it seems easy to use. Um, it would be nice if we can install Visual Studi Studio Code in this, but I'm fine because it looks like Vim loads fine in here. And ultimately, Vim is in many ways, in my opinion, stronger than Visual Studio Code. And so I guess if I have to pick between Vim and VS Code, I would take Vim over that anyway. So we get along, me and this distro, at least in that respect. All right, app select. Okay, app select. So I guess this lists all their apps that they have loaded in here. Um, I should probably read all these as I mean for this to be a thorough review of all the stuff that comes with a full install of Antics. This is a full install. <clears throat> I see Nano comes on it, which is another, um, another text editor. Search Gen 2 forms, interesting. Uh, set up persistence. Vim Tiny. Um, so I'll install in another video the um, a, m a more full version of Vim. See applications. There's an Antics tab that has Android device USB connect, Antics auto remove, Antics updater, Antics user manager, backlight bright brightness. Change Wi-Fi program, uh, CH root rescue scan, CLI app-based package manager. Um, 
I wonder if that's the software center they had. Let's just look at that. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm not entering the password right now. Uh, let's see. So, command line control center. Command line control center. Antics command line control center. Um, Internet tools, system tools, system configuration, live system. All right, it looks, looks interesting. Um, configure persistence, date and time, format USB. Gee, so let me see. If I click format USB, all right, so I'll need to enter. I would need to enter a password. I had plugged in a PNY flash drive, and it didn't seem to recognize that. So I'll, I'll look at that later, um, maybe in another video. Ice WM Toolbar Icon Manager, ISO Snapshot. Not sure how that. I have. There's so much to look at here. Live USB Kernel Updater, Live USB Maker, Login Manager, Personal Menu Editor, Remaster, Save Persistence Changes. Set up persistence, user language, and YAD color, whatever that is. Let's click it and see. Okay, but what is this going to affect? What the color of what? Okay. Um, so that's the antics listings. Under accessories, there's archive manager, calcurse, calcurse. Welcome, missing, press enter to continue. Appointments, okay, a to-do list. So that looks interesting. I'll have to look at I'll have to look at that sometime. Cherry tree. File editing tree. Not sure what cherry tree does. I should know more of these. Um, clip it, fire jail configuration wizard, calculator, leaf pad, midnight commander editor. I think that's another text editor. Other desktops, RxVT color Unicode terminal, search monkey, XF burn, ZZZ FM file search. Okay, that's in the accessories. Games has the DOSBox emulator and Mahjong. Graphics has document scanner, GT Cam digital camera browser. Oh, let's see. Let me flip up my digital camera and see what that does. Camera, add camera. Detect. I have a camera connected, but it's not. It's not finding it. Um, okay, so so the camera. I, I have a Logitech. The camera works in my other Linux systems, so that I'll need to look into that now that I know that it has something. Libre Office Draw, Mirage, MT Paint Graphic Editor, Screenshot. Okay, I don't see GIMP. I don't see GIMP. Um, hmm. Oh, because that's GNU. Uh, they have a screenshot here. Screenshot tool under the graphics setting. What is Mirage? So it looks like some kind of image viewer. Okay, continuing on in applications, the screenshot tool, let's look at that. Name of image, delay five seconds. 
Well, let's see. Let's just click OK and see what happens. OK. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Ah. It doesn't screenshot the whole screen, does it? I'll say OK. Let's put it in pictures. OK, now let's click Files on the dashboard here. Go to Pictures. And let's, okay, yeah, it looks like, looks like it did shot the whole screen. So nice. Okay, so I right click that, click delete, click yes, and uh, that should be, I would imagine, deleted. Okay, uh, moving on in our detailed view of this, that was graphics on internet. There is CENI, C-E-N-I, which needs root privileges, apparently. Um, clause mail, connect shares, connect shares configuration, conman UI setup. I believe conman is the internet connection. Dillo. Disconnect Shares, Droopy, Firefox ESR, that's Extended Support Release, which I'm probably going to do a separate video on browsers in, um, in Antics because Antics it's a little bit of a problem for me. GFTP, GNOME PPP. All right, that's interesting. If I click it, Oh, phone number and stuff. We'll have to look into that. Internet hex chat. That would be an IRC client, I believe. I'll have to learn to use that. Links to. Oh, links is usually a terminal um, browser. If I click links to. Okay. Let's do control alt T and see if I enter the word links in here, what happens. All right, let's try links to. Ah, look, something happened. Hit enter. Let's see what it does. I don't know. Ah, there. Go to URL. Let's put Google dot com I use the arrow and hit enter look at that we're in Google search all right so control C usually closes stuff in the terminal that worked okay so neat I can you can go on the internet from the terminal very very I, I like I think links is kind of cool so uh, that's nice search bar what kind of search bar is this? Oh, Start Page, DuckDuckGo, Google, IMDb, Dictionary, Wikipedia, MX Forums, and Antics Forums. Hey, can this be extended and can I add search? Now, what happens if I click? Like if I click DuckDuckGo, oh, sweet. That's a nice, that's actually a nice little tool. I'd like to customize that with my own search engines on here. So um, I'd like to find documentation on that. Let's see, internet. That was search bar. If I right click that, what does it do? Okay, so it doesn't matter which way you click it. Um, let me see if I right click down here. All right, so I'm not going to look at how to edit this and add stuff to it now while you're watching uh, out of respect for your time. Transmission. See, I think transmission is for um, 
when you download what's it called when you download a file and it goes through different areas um, torrents so transmission is a torrent client cancel um, what else they have here W P A G U I okay so the network stuff um, <clears throat> that's under internet so we've looked at antics accessories games graphics and internet under applications in multimedia there's also mixer which we looked at in the last video there's the also mixer equalizer a sunder cd ripper celluloid what's celluloid okay what is this playlist of some form uh, th this definitely ha looks interesting but there's a lot of programs that I haven't used I'm familiar with the gnome suite so this is quite new to me um, okay so droopy oh we went through we went through the internet multimedia G U B C view under multimedia. G U B C view. Okay. Sorry, I got to click on some of this. MPV media player. Probably download VLC. Poor man's radio player. Simple screen recorder. SM tube. Sound card chooser. Um, you test your sound card with that. So if you want to make sure you have sound, you go in, you play with it, test, listen to see if you can hear stuff. All right. So when you set, when you first download this and set up a system, sound card chooser is one of the things you'll use. Let's see. Streamlight, Stream Tuner Two. W I N F F. What's W I N F F? What? Okay. Multimedia. X M M S and YouTube video player, which it does work. I I tried it before. Uh, Office, Libre Office, Libre Calc, Draw, Impress, Math, Writer, and GPDF View. Uh, that must be a PDF viewer. Okay, cool. Preferences, Add Block, Add Key, Add Menu Item, ADSL, PPOE, Configuration. Alternatives, Configurator. A, R, and R, whatever that is. Bluetooth manager. Configure auto mount. That Maybe that has to do with why my USB didn't show up. Command UI setup. Customize look and feel. Menu manager. Mouse configuration. Print settings. Qt5 settings. This under preferences. Remove menu item. Hmm, I wonder if there's an add menu item then. Screen light, set font size, DPI, synaptic package manager, system keyboard, user language, wallpaper. It's actually been years since I've used synaptic package manager as I've spent a lot of time in Ubuntu after I started with Debian. Um, I did use Tails a little bit. I did do a command line install of, of Debian all the way up to a desktop. Um, I've also uh, been using Manjaro a lot recently. So um, I did try Linux from scratch a bit. Uh, but anyway, so Synaptic Package Manager 
I'll need to relearn that. System keyboard, user language, wallpaper. All right, programming. Gianni was one text editor and it has Vim Tiny. So, for example, if, um, if I do Control Alt T and um, I type in Vim and I'll just write the word test, it gets me into Vim. Okay, so um, what was it? Colon Q exclamation enter to quit now if, but if I type in um, Vim tutor the command is not found so um, it doesn't have everything uh, that one might want with Vim if you want to practice with Vim Vim tutor is nice all right, let's applications. So it has Vim Tiny. System. Okay, so we went through an applications, antics, accessories, games, graphics, internet, multimedia, office, preferences, programming, and now we're on the last one, system. It has app select, if I, I, which we see is different than the, um, what is this, the software installer so somewhere we need to have you notice software installer does not seem to be listed anywhere in the applications all right app select boot repair control center fire tools gparted oh, okay gparted is a classic one gr sync htop so if you want to see if i click htop Right now, with me recording, 703 megabytes out of, uh, out of my memory. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay, and that's with HTOP running. So if I X out of that, you can look over here to see the load, actually. Applications, system. Okay, that's HTOP. Lucky backup, whatever that is. Lucky backup as super user. Have to learn the differences. Midnight Commander, again. Network Assistant. Package Installer. Hmm, let's look at Package Installer. All right, you need administrative password for that. If I click software, you need password. I wonder if one of these is the same as the software installer. I just don't want to p enter my password every time. Package installer, PC information. I'll show you that at the end of the video. Um, I'm running, I have this to run on small, cheap, old laptops, but I'm using this right now on my main system live from the USB. Repo manager, root terminal, Rocks filer, Rocks filer as root, Rocks term, task manager, which we saw we could get at down here, um, and ZZZFM. Under personal, there's personal menu help video. What's that? I clicked it. Anything loading here? What is this? Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here tonight. Check oh. out Annex 15's new personal menu and the menu manager. Personal menus here on the regular old menu. You can see I've already customized mine with simple screen recorder and Ted text processor or the, it's the old text editor, Ted. And you got the regular applications menu here where all your apps will show up. And you can see I've got a couple things here installed that haven't um, that it, that isn't part of the normal Annex uh, installation, biggest one being Google Chrome. Okay, so we're going to use Menu Manager to uh, set up some custom entries in the personal menu. 
Menu Manager is available in the Control Center. Under Edit Menus on the Desktop tab. It's going to ask you what you want to change. And I'm going to say you want to change the Application Menu or the Personal Menu. I'm going to say the Personal Menu. Okay. Well, that's cool. So you got, there's a video inside the Personal from Midnight Commander, he's got a YouTube channel. I believe he's one of the developers for this. So uh, sweet, cute that you put that in there. All right, recent files. Recent files list, simple screen recorder, change number of files to show, clear recent file history. Desktop, other desktops. Oh, these must be desktop choices. Fluxbox, um, IceWM, and JWM. It would be nice to explore the differences between these sometime. Desktop folder, Antics Docs, File Manager, and Minstall. M install. That, okay. Uh, rocks panel on off, Conky on off. So let's see if I click Conky on off. Ah, so that stuff on the right hand side of the screen there is under desktop. That's Conky. If I click it again, and it's, it's loading back up. Okay, so that's how you put that on and off. App Killer, good. Control Center, if I click Control Center, the Antics Control Center on the desktop has Choose Wallpaper, Edit IceWM Settings, Edit JWM Settings, Edit System Monitor, Conky, Set Font Size, DPI, Customize Look and Feel, Edit Fluxbox Settings, and Preferred Applications. In the Antics Control Center under Software, is the Antics Updater. So is one of these the software installer? Antics Updater, Antics Auto Remove, Manage Packages, Package Installer, Repo Manager. System, choose Startup Services, Alternatives Configurator, Edit config files. Oh, that's interesting. Set system keyboard layout. Set date and time. So I guess if your date and time is wrong, go to system set date and time. Under network, you have select Wi-Fi application. Wi-Fi connect using Conman. Network interfaces using CENI, C-E-N-I. ADSL PPOE configuration, that looks like a telephone. Dial up configuration, GNOME PPP. I, is this for phone calls? I haven't used dial up modems for, if I don't th for like uh, 18 years. Does that sound right? <laughs> it's been a long time. WPA supplicant configuration and add block. Under shares, connect shares configuration, Droopy file sharing, and disconnect shares. Session, set screen resolution, AR and R, set grub boot image, PNG only. PNG, so, um, okay. Login Manager. Ah, oh, wait. Login Manager. Let's click that a second. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at that. I think that may be a different way to set up the uh, login for this. Because by default, there's no password that I needed to get into this. Set screen blanking and user desktop session. Okay, it looks like you can edit some stuff in here. All right, live. Configure live persistence, 
Live USB kernel updater, edit bootloader menu, save root persistence, set up live persistence, edit exclude files, remaster custom live. Disks, configure auto mount, install Antix Linux, Live USB Maker, GUI, Image Partition, Synchronize Directories, Partition Drive. Hardware, Print Settings, PC Information, which I'll uh, look at at the end, I'll show you. Mouse Configuration, Sound Card Chooser, Test Sound, Adjust Mixer, Also Mixer. Okay, so under Hardware, if you click test sound, okay, so I don't have to control C to get out of that. That's nice. <laughs> Looked like it was going to go on for a while. Drivers, NVIDIA driver installer. Okay, kind of cool, but I'm not using NVIDIA. I'm using AMD. Um, maintenance, ISO snapshot however that works, system backup, however that works, network assistant, boot repair, menu editor, and user manager. All right, so maybe in some other video, I'll take a closer look at some of those. Ref refresh menu, help, antics. So there's antics video, facts, antics live how to, rocks manual, announcements, AnticsForum.com, Antics Wiki, IceWM, Facts, Manual, and OS News, Applications, there's Firewall, Part Image, Man Pages, that's RC, MC, MOCP, Nano, RSS Atom, Terminal, Torrent. If I click Terminal, Okay, so it's the manual pages on that. Cue to quit. Okay, that was help. Antics installer, I believe that would install it. You can install Antics on your hard drive. Run, settings, uh, focus. I'm not sure what this is. Explicit focus, sloppy mouse, strict mouse, quiet, custom preferences. So whatever this focus thing is, Quick switch, whatever that is. Task bar, whatever that is. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not sure how all these customizations work. Show uh, a dot, 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 dash L. So allow full screen, arrange windows, auto CPU status. So all these different um, customizations I don't know what a lot of these are. Key win, key sys, key sys workspace, scalar, string, and then here's the save modifications. Then themes, there's A, like Antix Blue Huge, B, Blue Crystal Huge. I don't know what these are either. I'm afraid to start clicking all these and then not being able to get back to what I where, where I was. So cuz I want to show you what this looks like out of the box and work with it from it out of the box. Okay, for the logout, you can lock your workstation, sleep mode, restart and restart X term. Now, usually I think X terminal is what's underneath the desktop. And then IceWM would sit on top of X terminal, if I remember correctly. Okay, so that is the stuff in the anti X thing. We also already did right clicking on the desktop, and they have similar um, things to that. They have the terminal, file manager, web browser, editor, app select, applications, personal, recent files, desktop, app killer, control center, refresh menu, help, antics installer, run, settings, and logout. 
So I believe I've covered everything on the screen. And uh, I'll say again that software installer, where where is that? Where Where do I find that somewhere else on this? But anyway, thank you for listening. I hope that gives you a basic overview of, oh, oh yeah, I told you that I would um, can show you my um, PC information. Mm. Let's we could display some detailed information about the CPU. There you go, what I'm running on this system. My AMD Ryzen. What else would I want to show you? My graphics. AMD Radeon. There you see. Okay, it recognized my graphics card. Sweet. Because I have a Radeon RX 5500, right? Um, in my main system. What else we got here? I'll do full information for you. This is kernel 5.10.57 antics. Um, the base is Debian 11 Bullseye. Uh, you can see actually all my stuff here. Quad core, Zen family. My Radeon RX 5500. My audio, if you know how to maximize my audio, that'd be nice. Uh, yeah, okay. So anyway, that's my system. I had said I would show you that at the end of this, and I did. So thank you for listening. Hope this video helps. Have a good day.